Imagine the sugary goodness of a warm icing covered donut melting in your mouth. Krispy Kreme Donuts can give you all of that and more. The original company was started by Vernon Rudolph in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He purchased a secret recipe for yeast raised donuts from a New Orleans French chef and opened a donut shop in Kentucky. He then moved to the city of Winston-Salem and started selling his donuts at local grocery stores. Some customers wanted to get donuts directly from the bakery, so he opened the first Krispy Kreme July 13, 1937. Envisioning a potential business opportunity, Rudolph cut a hole in the wall of his bakery and began to sell hot donuts directly to customers. Here's an example of how Rudolph makes these donuts. The attraction to Krispy Kreme donuts from the public came from the freshness and warmth of these donuts. At each Krispy Kreme franchise, there is a red light that goes on when they have fresh donuts ready to sell. This is how customers knew they were getting a warm, hot donut right out of the oven. Let's hear more from the workers at Krispy Kreme. Hi, my name is Eva P. Watkins, and I've been working at Krispy Kreme since 2012. My job is uh, processing, which I like it because I can decorate the donut. For me, I like coming in early. I get here about two o'clock in the morning to get all my stuff going, all my icings heating up, and um, they've left me a few donuts overnight to start with until the production man comes in about an hour and a half or so after I do. So that gives me a chance to get a jump on getting the stuff processed and getting it out um, before we open the doors at five. So when the customers come in, they have fresh product to buy. It takes a good team. Uh, everybody has to do their part, and at the end, it all comes together. You get out of anything what you put into it. So, you know, if you try your best and, and, and you, you create a good product and do very well, you know, but if you come in and, and you don't, you just look at it as, as just, it's just a job to get by watching the clock, I can't wait for my time to leave, then this, this isn't for you. It really isn't. So it takes a team effort. When everybody works together and everybody gets along, things get really smooth. But when you don't and people, people lay out of work and stuff, because my job is dependent upon the production man. If the production man doesn't get here, doesn't get here on time, then it throws me off. And if I don't have product to give to the girls to sell, when the customer comes in, they have nothing to buy. So it's, it's a chain reaction that we really depend on each other for success. To develop your own Krispy Kreme franchise, there are multiple steps you have to go through. First, you need to ensure you have adequate capitalization, meaning you must have a net worth of more than $275,000. The next step in starting your own franchise is you must appreciate the investment required for a franchise. Evaluate your prior experience and strengths and assess your market availability. Then, you can submit your application and finally receive approval and opening your Krispy Kreme franchise. There are a total of 364 Krispy Kreme locations in the U.S. according to 2019. You can find Krispy Kreme sold locally at the Royal Farms in Northfield, and I highly recommend making the trip out to Collinswood, New Jersey to try it for yourself. Get out there and try Krispy Kreme if you haven't already.